So uh, we're going to be doing a uh, cardio version here. We have uh, an uh, atrial flutter going on. So this is our patient. We're going to blur her face. But can you tell me a little bit when this... <laughs> she, she just made an interesting face there. But uh, when, when did your heart start beating fast? Yep. About 11.15. About 11.15 today. All right. And you were, uh, and tomorrow you were actually going to get an ablation procedure. Correct. All right. And so you were taking off your medications and, and waiting for the procedure to be done. Okay. All right. So uh, in a minute we'll be doing that. We're going to do uh, propofol. Are we all set for the uh, procedure of sedation? We are. And you understand this will be on YouTube, but your face will be blurred. So. That's All right. <laughs> now we actually have the the pads on your chest already. Do you mind being on? Yeah, okay. Uh, what what uh, what voltages are we going to use? Uh, I believe we're going to do 50 joules. 50 joules. Shots. Okay. Start with. All right. It's a strip. Does it have a printer? Our cardiologist is standing here at the bedside, leading and directing this procedure. Do you have any words of wisdom? One, one learning point is we like to tuck in patients' arms gently. Oh, so good that point. Their arms, when they're cardioverted, don't bump up and minimizes the risk of hand or finger injury on the oh, side rails. Very good point. That's something you want when you do a lot of cardio so Okay. So we're to tuck you in snugly. All right. Not too snug. Just to help prevent the fingers from flopping okay. up. You'd be surprised. Okay. Yeah. okay. Any, anything else you do? Um, you have to make certain patient hasn't eaten recently. Obviously, this is an urgent indication. She hasn't eaten since very early this morning. You've got to make sure you have all the appropriate stuff to support her airway nearby when you do deep conscious sedation like this and uh, be ready and prepared to record her rhythms after she cardioverts so you can document what her post cardioversion rhythm is. Sometimes we cardiovert people from atrial fibrillation to atrial flutter and then they require more cardioversion so it's important to see what the strips are after the cardioversion itself even if they remain in the arrhythmia. Okay. And then how do you put your pads on? Is, is this anterior posterior? This is a typical anterior posterior location. Occasionally we'll do side to side. Okay. And that tends to work best as far as you're concerned? It, it depends on the body habitus, but okay. for someone with her type body habitus, this is a very acceptable pad location. Yes, sir. Okay, suction's ready. Suction's Airway ready. equipment's all ready. ready. All right, and Tidal Seal 2 is on. I'm working on that one. Nursing staff, do you mind being on YouTube or? Uh, no. No. Nope. Well, okay. Don't about me. Oh no, you, you, you're all gorgeous. Don't zoom in. Yeah, I'm wondering where the crash part is. <laughs> this is a room. We got we got plenty of crash cards. I know. The whole room's a crash card. <laughs> all right, here we go. It's game time. Sleeping time. Jessica, um, tell me what you're doing as far as your. Uh, I'm gonna give her one milligram per kilo. Okay. When do I start the burning? Uh, any moment. <laughs> you, you may be one of the lucky ones that doesn't burn. It just feels full. It doesn't feel. Like it's full. Yeah. What? What? One more. I'm gonna give the other twenty. Getting sleepy? I think she's... Okay, everybody ready? Everybody clear. Right. So 50, Frank. 50, sir. Charging to 50, everybody clear. Six, sir, clear. Go. Got it. Come on. 
Confirm it. Signs well. Thank you. She's out. She's out. Cycle or blood pressure? Make sure. There you go. There you go. Okay. Heart rate. Hundred heart rate. Yeah. Ten hundred percent. Uh, eighty-two. There you go. Yeah, good idea. There you go. Take a little oxygen. All right, we're coming up. Yeah. Hey, bear. We zapped you. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you guys are awesome. <laughs> I'm going to repeat your EKG, okay? You didn't, you didn't feel anything at all? I didn't feel anything. Perfect. You, were, you, you hallucinated? We're up here. Well, on yeah, I mean, it was like a dream state where I was um, following links. I mean, I was just going to different sites. Yeah. You know, that links to new sites. Yeah. So you were just cruising the internet <laughs> while you were... I was cruising the freaking internet. What did, <laughs> and what did I say? Nothing, oh my God, nothing. These, these ringer, right wingers, look what they're doing. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't say a word. You were well, quiet as a church mouse. You, 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 briefly, you briefly slowed your breathing down and so that you were hyper... Just your uh, pulse oximetry drop down. To what? Um, is, what did it down to, in the 80s? Yeah. In the 80s, but we put you on oxygen and you bop back up. Okay, uh, important things to consider when performing an urgent cardioversion is confirming when the patient last ate or drank, ensuring whether they are hemodynamically stable or unstable, ensuring that you have proper airway management equipment on hand ensuring that the personnel administering conscious sedation are comfortable doing so and authorized to do so, unless it's an emergent, sedation, emergent cardioversion, in which case you would do it in a setting of hemodynamic instability where the patient was unconscious, and then also ensuring that you have the proper code cart materials on hand to perform any further resuscitation should you cardiovert the patient from one arrhythmia into another, which occasionally happens. When we cardiovert people, we find that an ounce of prevention is worth a pound of cure, and that having all the ducks in a row and being set up and prepared to handle any further cardiac event that occurs after a cardioversion, they very rarely occur, but if you're prepared, the outcomes are almost uniformly very successful. Thank you very much. Okay.